Hello again, it's teacher Maha. This week, we are going to start our new unit, Unit 9. You can find it in your class book and workbook page 64 and in your grammar book page 44. Now, open your class book, Unit 9, page 64. Hello, I'm Malik. I'm a doctor. Hello, I'm Penny. I'm a pilot. Can you guess, where do we work? Mm, excellent. Malik works in a hospital and I work in an airport. Excellent. Let's read the new words together. Hospital. Hos. P. Tal. Hospital. Hos. P. Tal. Hospital. Airport. 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 Hello. I'm Sally. Can you guess where do I study? Bravo! I study in a school. Let's say the new words together. School. School. Hello, I'm Ahmed. I'm a policeman. Hi, I'm Osama. I'm a fireman. Can you guess where do we work? Mm, bravo! Ahmad works in a police station. Osama works in a fire station. Excellent. Police station. Police station. Police station. Police station. Fire station. Fire station. Fire station. Fire station. I am Sammy. I am a seller. Can you guess where do I work? Excellent. I work in a shop. Let's say the words together. Shop. 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 Listen and point. Fire station. Police station. School. Shop. Hospital. Airport. My dad's a policeman. Where does he work? He works in a police station. Does your grandma work? No, she doesn't. Does your mum work? Yes, she does. She works in a shop. There are lots of cakes here, Tim. Yes, I know. My mum works in a cake shop. Have a cake, boys. Oh, thank you. Fantastic! Let's read this story again and analyze it as we usually do. Number one. My dad's a policeman. Now, the contraction that we have here is the is. And it's contraction of... Excellent, it's a contraction of is. Number two. Where does he work? Now, here we have a pronoun. Excellent, it's he. And it refers to... Excellent, Dad. Now, when we use where, we ask about, that's correct, about place. He works in a police station. He, a pronoun excellent, and it refers to that too. And a preposition. Bravo. Number three. Does your grandma work? No, she doesn't. Now, here we have another pronoun, she. It refers to, excellent, refers to grandma. Number four. Does your mom work? Yes, she does. Now here we have another pronoun, she. It refers to... No, not to grandma. Now he asks about mom. So, she refers to... Excellent, to mom. She works in a shop. Now here we have another she. It refers to... Excellent, refers to mom too. Works in a shop. And here is a preposition. Bravo. Number five. There are lots of cakes here, Tim. Yes, I know. Yes, I... Now here we have a pronoun, I. It refers to... 
Excellent, refers to Tim. My mom works in, in here we have a preposition bravo. Number six, have a cake, boys. Oh, thank you, fantastic. Now, here thank you, we have a pronoun, it's you, and it refers to, excellent to mom, fantastic is an adjective. Now, let's do the workbook exercise. Open your workbook, unit 9, page 64. Exercise number two, look and write. Number one, excellent, it's hospital. Number two, police station. Number three, airport. Number four, fire station. Number five, shop, bravo. Number six, that's correct, school. Now, open your class book page. 65 your class book page 65 here we have two words does and doesn't i use does with a question i use doesn't with negative sentences but to use does and doesn't the subject should be he she or a singular noun as ali choose the correct answer does work in a hospital i you or she now we start the question with does so the subject should be excellent she doesn't work in a shop this is number two he doesn't work in a shop they doesn't work or we doesn't work excellent he doesn't work in a shop thank you open your class book page 65 but don't forget to do your homework at your workbook page 65. This exercise says, write, yes, she does, no, she doesn't, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Number one, does he work in a hospital? No, he doesn't. Number two, does she work in a shop? Excellent, no, she doesn't. Number three, does he work in an airport does he work in an airport excellent no he doesn't number four does she work in a school excellent yes she does number five does he work in a fire station yes he does excellent number six does she work in a police station no she doesn't bravo Now, open your grammar book page 46 and 47, but don't forget to do page 44 and page 45 as a homework. Let's make this quick revision. To ask about time, we use where, what, or when. Excellent, when. We have three prepositions of time, on, at, in. We use on with the days of the week. For example, on Sunday, on Friday, on Monday. Number two, at, we use it with times of the day and night. For example, at six o'clock, at half past nine, and night, for example, at night and I use it with the morning the afternoon and the evening so I say in the morning in the afternoon in the evening circle the correct word number one he goes home in or on the afternoon excellent in the afternoon she has science on or at Monday we have your Monday Excellent, on Monday. Three, it sleeps in or at night. Excellent, at night. He has dinner at six, uh, sorry, seven o'clock or in seven o'clock. Excellent, at seven o'clock. Five, she watches TV on the evening or in the evening. In the evening, perfect. Number six, he has breakfast on seven o'clock or at seven o'clock. Perfect, 
at 7 o'clock. Prepositions of time. Jamie goes to school in the morning. It's Monday. On Monday, he has science. In the afternoon, he goes swimming. He does his homework in the evening. He goes to bed at 9 o'clock at night. Now, make a question about Jimmy and answer them. Number 1. Now look at the first word that we have here. Is it verb or noun? Excellent, it's verb. In such exercises, if I have a verb at the beginning and I want to make a question, I start with does. So, the question should be does. Does who? Does Jimmy? Or, I can put he instead of Jimmy. Now, what's next? The verb. What's the verb that we have here? Go. Then I complete my question with the compliment. To school in the morning. Now the question will be, does he go to school in the morning? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Excellent. Number two. What's the first word that we have here? Where? If I have W question words, I start my question with them. Here, I will start with where. Then I put does he do his homework. So the question will be, when does he do his homework? In the evening.